Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know, I've been begging for top five lists for a few weeks now, and you guys have listened to my begging. You keep sending them in. Uh, and uh, a lot of them are related to technology because, of course, that's really the audience. Uh, getting quite a few lists uh, that are related to the same thing, so hopefully we're not getting any kind of repetition one way or another, or if we do uh, cover the same topic, doesn't sound like repetition, we're actually sending new things out there. And one thing that we can't talk about enough is PC optimization. Everybody's trying to eke extra speed out of their computer. And life just is 2007. Uh, well, number one, it may have to change his handle in a few weeks when it turns 2008. But I believe his tips could be evergreen, not just in the Christmas tree variety, but likely applicable from this point forward. Well, at least in dealing with operating systems like Windows. <clears throat> so, without any further ado, this is Life Just Is 2007's top five tips for keeping your PC running like new. And if it's a new PC, well, hopefully it's it's running like new. If it's running Windows Vista, well, well, uh, best of luck. Number one, only install software that you need to have running on your system. Having software on your computer that you don't actually need only increases the amount of disk space on that drive that is happening to be used, whether it's your operating system drive or a secondary or external drive. If you have any software that you no longer use and would like to get rid of it, you can download a freeware program called Revo Uninstaller, and uh, you can download it for free at revouninstaller.com. I can safely say that I've used this program to uninstall old programs I don't use anymore or software I've installed just to test out. This program does a great job of scanning the system for invalid registry entries that get left behind after using this program to uninstall your programs compared to using the add remove programs applet in the control panel. Now I'm going to add something in here in terms of just trying programs. Instead of just downloading programs to your regular old Windows PC, think about setting up virtual PC. It's a free program available for Microsoft.com that runs Windows inside a virtual machine. Install and try new software in there because you could undo it more easily and that virtual PC won't touch the rest of your system. And you know for virtual machine software, I do recommend VMware, VMware Fusion for people who use the Mac and just VMware Workstation for those of you on Windows. Virtual PC, however, is free for the workaday user. Power users, go VMware. Number two, do some research and use before downloading any random program off the internet. It is true that there are a lot of great freeware and shareware programs out there, but you have to understand that the internet is a big road to be driving on with your PC. Do your homework, do research about the program you wish to or are thinking about downloading and trying out. You'd be surprised how much software is out there designed to give you the impression that it will do something to make your PC faster or make your internet speed faster, when in reality, it'll make your PC run even slower, and it might even have some nasties built in. Be careful what you download. Great tip. I mean, that's not just only uh, for making your PC faster, keeping your PC faster, it's keeping it safer. In fact, I don't know who it was on Ventrilo the other day, but we were chatting and mentioning how we haven't downloaded a virus in like years, if we had even seen a virus in years, because we really don't download a lot anymore. We really don't need to. We use the web uh, to access things that we used to have to download for. I mean, even Flickr now has built-in photo editing. YouTube has basic video editing in line. I mean, it's just a matter of time before you don't have to download anything anymore. What will those spyware manufacturers do? Hmm, that's an entire industry, let me tell you. Three, don't mess with anything inside the operating system that you know nothing about. Changing even the slightest zero to a one, or a one to a zero in the registry could leave your system unusable immediately or on the next reboot of the system. Don't mess around with the core of the operating system, that registry. Don't worry about any registry tweakers or cleaners or optimizers. Don't touch it if you don't know what you're doing. I believe that. If you don't know what you're doing, especially if you're a basic user who only checks email and rarely surfs the web, this applies to you. If you're a basic user and are still inclined to learn how to work with the inner workings of the operating system, use Google. Google's the biggest search engine, or it's the most comprehensive, certainly, and you can find just about anything on it. Also, check out DSLreports.com, which offers a good amount of forms for everything from generic chat to anything to everything about technology. Well, not only, I think they're largely for internet stuff, 
uh, DSL reports. Maybe they've got other forums there. Any, find a community, stick with the community. Wherever that community happens to be, I think, is the bottom line. Make a post, ask your questions, how to do something, and then learn something today. And you can always swing by the chat room. Here he notes, live.perillo.com. I've also got a set of forums that Goretzky is one of the moderators in, and I think Kat is a new moderator, at help.lockernome.com. Number four, use antivirus software. Even if you don't want to pay for security software, there's no excuse not to download a free antivirus program such as AVG or Avast. I prefer AVG for performance reasons. This is according to Life Just Is. I would also agree with him. I, I prefer and recommend AVG as well. When choosing a free AV, but Avast has slightly better detection rates. If you don't care about paying for antivirus software, try out ESET's NOD32. That's NOD32. It will not slow down your system and is highly recommended by both Cat and myself. And Cat, of course, being another one of those people who is in chat. Number five, if you're comfortable, clean out the inside of your computer case one to two times a year. Now remember, I brought up this tip recently. You'd be surprised how much dust collects in even the smallest case. Keeping the inside of your computer case clean is advisable to keep your system running cool. The more dust filled the system is, higher the temperatures inside the case. In turn, causing the system fan to spin faster to keep the system cool. If you feel you aren't capable of doing this task yourself, ask your local computer geek if you happen to have one. A local computer geek. I've said so many things can be fixed and addressed if you just find a geek uh, who's in your neck of the woods, a trusted geek, of course. I mean, people are people. Uh, if you pay them in pizza and beer, uh, you'd be surprised at what they might be able to help you with. Uh, I used to help uh, people locally when I lived in Des Moines, Iowa. I had to stop doing it because it was a tap on time and I didn't want to charge out absolutely outrageous rates because my time was just so tapped. So I prefer to teach and educate using the internet. Uh, you know, I could use a whiteboard, I could use a blackboard. I decide to use the keyboard. So life just is. Really appreciate that. Uh, and, and life just is is another one of those regular chatters who's been in there. I think I made him upset the other day. Inadvertently, I didn't mention his name because we're talking about opening up chat and possibly doing stuff with Ventrilo. We got to be careful because there's politics with everything and we might offend people and certain people get left out. I don't want to play the politics game, right? I'm just not a political person. You know that, okay? I talk about politics. Everything's got politics, including chat rooms and forums. That's something you got to watch out for. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about making your PC faster. So if you have any tips about making your PC faster, and I suppose PC being a Mac as well, a computer, making your computer faster and better, you know, hopefully for low cost, if no cost, send them along. Send along your tips. I'm looking for top five tips, whether it's related to technology or not, hardware related or not, internet related or not, software related or not, just something in your life that you realize or you've learned over time. Share the knowledge. Share the knowledge. Share the knowledge. That's what the internet's all about. That's why I love YouTube. The entire internet converges on YouTube. We're here. Get used to it. That's right, baby. So if you'd like to interact with us, you can either, well, email me, chris at perillo.com, or in a broader sense, interact with the people in the chat room. Uh, you, know, I, you know what? I, I think I need some help with this, so I'm going to turn it over to the aforementioned cat and have her lead out the rest of this video and let you know where to go to find us. Cat? Thanks, Chris. I appreciate the plugs. Hey, guys, come down and visit us anytime, day or night. Talk some tech with us. Just hang out and get to know us. We're really not that bad. You can find us in one place and one place only. That's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.